Economic dispatch is the short-term determination of the optimal output of a number of electricity generation facilities, to meet the system load, at the lowest possible cost, subject to transmission and operational constraints. The economic dispatch problem is solved by specialized computer software which should satisfy the operational and system constraints of the available resources and corresponding transmission capabilities. In the U.S. Energy Policy Act of 2005, the term is defined as, "...the operation of generation facilities to produce energy at the lowest cost to reliably serve consumers, recognizing any operational limits of generation and transmission facilities." The main idea is that, in order to satisfy the load at a minimum total cost, the set of generators with the lowest marginal costs must be used first, with the marginal cost of the final generator needed to meet load setting the system marginal cost. This is the cost of delivering one additional MWH of energy onto the system. The historic methodology for economic dispatch was developed to manage fossil fuel burning power plants, relying on calculations involving the input-output characteristics of power stations. <laughs> <laughs> Basic mathematical formulation The following is based on Kirshen 2010. The economic dispatch problem can be thought of as maximizing the economic welfare W of a power network whilst meeting system constraints. For a network with N buses nodes, where IC represents the net power injection at bus K, and CK IC is the cost function of producing power at bus K, the unconstrained problem is formulated as min I K minus W equals min i k k equals 1 n c k i k display style min underscore i underscore k w equals min underscore i underscore k left sum underscore k equals 1 caret n c underscore k i underscore k right Constraints imposed on the model are the need to maintain a power balance, and that the flow on any line must not exceed its capacity. For the power balance, the sum of the net injections at all buses must be equal to the power losses in the branches of the network. K equals one N I K equals L I one I Two I N minus one display style sum underscore k equals one carrot n i underscore k equals l i underscore one i underscore two dots i underscore n one. The power losses l depend on the flows in the branches and thus on the net injections, as shown in the above equation. However, it cannot depend on the injections on all the buses, as this would give an overdetermined system. Thus one bus is chosen as the slack bus and is omitted from the variables of the function L. The choice of slack bus is entirely arbitrary, here bus N is chosen. The second constraint involves capacity constraints on the flow on network lines. For a system with M lines this constraint is modeled as F L I 1 I 2 I N Minus one F L M A X L equals one M display style F underscore L I underscore one I underscore two dots I underscore N one L EQ F underscore L carrot max Q quad L equals one dots M where F L is the flow on branch L, and Fli max is the maximum value that this flow is allowed to take. Note that the net injection at the slack bus is not included in this equation for the same reasons as above. These equations can now be combined to build the Lagrangian of the optimization problem L equals K equals 1 N C K I K 
plus pi l i 1 i 2 i n minus 1 minus k equals 1 n i k plus l equals 1 m mu l f l m a x minus f l i 1 i 2 i n minus 1 Display style math cal L equals sum underscore K equals one carrot N C underscore K I underscore K plus pi left L I underscore one I underscore two dots I underscore N one sum underscore K equals one carrot N I underscore K right plus sum underscore L equals one carrot M mu underscore L left F underscore L carrot max F underscore L I underscore one I underscore two dots I underscore N one right where π and μ are the Lagrangian multipliers of the constraints. The conditions for optimality are then L i k equals 0 k equals 1 n Display style partial math cal L over partial i underscore k equals 0 q quad k equals 1 dots n L Pi equals zero. Display style partial math cal L over partial pi equals zero. L mu L equals zero. L equals one m. Display style partial math cal L over partial mu underscore L equals zero q quad L equals one dots M mu L F L M A X minus F L I one I two I N minus one equals zero mu L zero K equals one N Display style mu underscore L C D O T left F underscore L carrot max F underscore L I underscore one I underscore two dots I underscore N one right equals zero quad mu underscore L G E Q zero quad K equals one dots N where the last condition is needed to handle the inequality constraint on line capacity. Solving these equations is computationally difficult as they are nonlinear and implicitly involve the solution of the power flow equations. The analysis can be simplified using a linearized model called a DC power flow. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environmental dispatch. In environmental dispatch, additional considerations concerning reduction of pollution further complicate the power dispatch problem. The basic constraints of the economic dispatch problem remain in place but the model is optimized to minimize pollutant emission in addition to minimizing fuel costs and total power loss. Due to the added complexity, a number of algorithms have been employed to optimize this environmental, economic dispatch problem. Notably, a modified Bayes algorithm implementing chaotic modeling principles was successfully applied not only in silico, but also on a physical model system of generators. Other methods used to address the economic emission dispatch problem include particle swarm optimization and neural networks. Another notable algorithm combination is used in a real time emissions tool called Locational Emissions Estimation Methodology that links electric power consumption and the resulting pollutant emissions. 
The LEAM estimates changes in emissions associated with incremental changes in power demand derived from the Locational Marginal Price information from the Independent System Operators and emissions data from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency LEAM was developed at Wayne State University as part of a project aimed at optimizing water transmission systems in Detroit, Michigan starting in 2010 and has since found a wider application as a load profile management tool that can help reduce generation costs and emissions. See also Electricity market Bid-based, security-constrained, economic dispatch with nodal prices Unit commitment problem in electrical power production <laughs>